Hey, what's going on everybody? Hope we're doing great today. Happy Wednesday. We got six matchups on this NBA slate today. Be sure to hit that subscribe button. And also check out all my betting links in the description below to get in on the action. Uh, really great promo with BetMGM. Bet5, get 150 in bonus bets. Uh, link is in the description, guys. Great promo. Good promos with FanDuel and DraftKings and Bet365 as well. Those are in the link in the description if you want to get in there. Um, go ahead and take advantage of those great promos. And yeah, we'll hop in it. A lighter slate today. Just the six matchups. Starting with the Dallas Mavericks versus the Toronto Raptors. Dallas opening up as a two and a half point road favorite with the over under at 237 and a half. Dallas coming into this matchup 33 and 25. Toronto 22 and 36. Head to head Toronto, two and one in the last three head to head meetings. Um, I mean, Dallas coming off. If you saw that Cleveland game yesterday, Max Struess hit a half court game winner. I mean, that was just insane. So, tough loss for the Mavs. Uh, Toronto on a little three game winning streak right now. Uh, Dallas is five and two covering on the road. So, they've played well on the road, four and two against Toronto. 7-2 and two covering in their last nine. They've been great covering the spread. And um, we'll see coming off a of back-to-back if someone like Kyrie or Luka does rest. But I feel like second half of the season, I mean, every team's fighting for their playoff lives here. I just don't know if we're going to see too much back-to-back -back resting uh, down the stretch here. And um, yeah, Mavs with a heartbreaking loss yesterday. Luka with another dominating performance. I like the Mavs to bounce back. I'm sure they're very mad last night after that loss. So, yeah, I'm going to take a shot with the Mavs. Minus two and a half in money line on the road. Just be sure to check the injury report. Next matchup, we got the New Orleans Pelicans versus the Indiana Pacers. Pacers opening up as a five and a half point home favorite with the over under at 239 and a half. Pelicans coming into this matchup 35 and 24. Pacers 33 and 27. Head-to-head, -head, Pelicans 2-1 and one in the last three head-to-head -head meetings. Um, McCollum's questionable. So is Brandon Ingram. Uh, Pelicans coming off a Knicks win yesterday. A nice win for them, especially on, especially on the road. Uh, the Pacers coming off a Toronto loss. Interesting game. A lot of injuries. No Jose Alvarado. Or the Pelicans. For me, if, if if McCollum and Ingram are both suiting up, uh, I like the Pelicans on the road here. They're 10-4-1 and, 10, and one covering against the Pacers, where they've been very good. But if any one of them's out, I'm not going to love that starting five with one of, the, one of their stars missing. So if both of them are in, I like the Pelicans plus the points. But if one of those guy, main guys are out, especially Zion too, I'll have to take a shot with the Pacers at home. So this is one you definitely got to monitor the injury report. Next matchup, we got the Cleveland Cavaliers versus the Chicago Bulls. Cavs opening up as a five-point road favorite with the over-under at 216.5. Cavs coming into this matchup 38-19. Bulls 27-31. Head-to-head, the Cavs 7-3 in the last 10 head-to-head -head meetings. Um... Cavs coming off, yeah, coming off that game winner against the Mavs last game. Chicago coming off a Detroit loss, a bad Detroit loss. I mean, they were 10-point favorites, and they lost to the Pistons, which is kind of crazy. Uh, Cavs 7-0 against the Chicago, 4-1 covering against Chicago. They've been very good against the Bulls. For me, hard to trust the Bulls coming off a 10-point loss against Detroit. They lost to the Cavs by three just a few games ago here. And um, we'll see if anybody's resting. Both teams coming off a back-to-back, -back, so that's one thing to monitor. But um, yeah, I just don't trust the Bulls coming off a bad loss to the Pistons here. I mean, the Cavs minus five and money line on the road. Next matchup, we've got the Memphis Grizzlies versus the Minnesota Timberwolves. Minnesota opening up as a 12-point home favorite with the over-under at 210.5. Grizzlies coming into this matchup 20-38. and 38. 
Minnesota 41 and 17. Head to head, Minnesota 6 and 4 in the last 10 head to head meetings. Um, Carl Anthony Towns is questionable. Uh, looks like Anthony Edwards is probable here. Memphis on a two game losing streak. They're 2 and 8 in their last 10 right now. Minnesota on a two game winning streak, coming off a, a nice Spurs win yesterday. Memphis 1 and 4 covering on the road against Minnesota. 1 and 5 against Minnesota. They have not been good head to head against the Timberwolves here. Timberwolves are 5 and 2 covering the spread. 4 and 1 covering at home against Memphis, so they've been good against them. Be sure to check the injury report coming off a of back to back, especially with Carl Henny Towns questionable. But um Yeah, I like Minnesota here. Lay the points. Give me Minnesota minus 12. Throw them in your money line parlays at home. Next matchup, we got the Sacramento Kings versus the Denver Nuggets. Denver opening up as a 7.5 point home favorite with the over-under at 230. Kings coming into this matchup 33 and 24. Denver 39 and 19. Head-to-head, -head, Denver 6 and 4 in the last 10 head-to-head -head meetings. A De'Aaron Fox is questionable, so be sure to check his status. Kings coming off a bad Miami loss. Uh, they, they actually beat Denver by four a couple games ago. Actually, they beat Denver in each of the last two meetings, 135 to 106, and then 102 to 98. Uh, Denver on a three-game winning streak coming off a Warriors win. Now, surprisingly, Sacramento been good head-to-head, 4-1 -head, against Denver, but 2-9 and nine on the road against Denver. That's where they really struggle. Uh, Denver, 9-2 and two at home against Sacramento. Eight and one at home. If there's any chance for Denver to get a nice win. It's at home. Riding a three-game winning streak right now. Darren Fox questionable. Yeah. I'd like a big bounce back for Denver. They've lost the last two. I think this is a big statement win for Denver at home. Give me the Nuggets minus seven and a half and money line in this one. And then the last matchup, we got a we got a, um, an LA battle. We got the Los Angeles Lakers versus the LA Clippers. Clippers opening up as a three and a half point home favorite with the over under at 235 and a half. Uh, Lakers coming into this matchup 32 and 28. The Clippers 37 and 19. And obviously they play in the same arena, so they're they're both the home team, however you want to say it. Uh head to head Clippers, eight and two in the last ten head to head meetings. They've been virtually dominant head-to-head -head here. Uh, it's like LeBron's questionable, like he always is. Uh, Clippers, no Paul George for the Clippers. So that's an interesting injury right there. Lakers coming off a Phoenix loss. Uh, Clippers coming off a Sacramento loss. And uh, Lakers, they have not been good head-to-head -head here. 0-7 on the road against the Clippers. 2-12 straight up against the Clippers. 3-12 covering against the Clippers. I mean, yeah, they've been pretty bad against the Clippers here. And um, no Paul George, though. That's the only thing that, you know, kind of stinks about this matchup here. Um, Clippers haven't won back-to-back -back games here since about February 5th. I don't know. Without Paul George, I think this is a good spot for the Lakers. As long as LeBron's playing, which I'm sure he is. And um, getting three and a half here. It's a home game, essentially. Should be a good one. If Paul George was playing, I would roll with the numbers and take the Clippers. But he's not. So I think I'm going to have to roll with the Lakers plus three and a half on the road in this one. That's going to be it for the video. Good luck with your picks and parlays on Wednesday. Hope you guys all cash out and I'll see you guys Thursday. Have a good one.